Hello, and welcome back to Lee Reader. My name is Lee, if you hadn't already guessed, and today I'm doing my March book haul. So I got paid the other day, so my natural reaction to getting paid is going to buy books, and that is exactly what I did, even if I bought way too many than I necessarily needed. But I wanted to share with you guys what I got. And when I say I got a lot of books, I mean... I got a lot of books. So let's jump straight in. One of the first books I picked up was A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Now I have seen this book just about everywhere on booktube and in bookstores and I've heard so many good things about it. I believe Slice of Mike did a recommend on his channel about this book and it looked really good and I saw a copy and I was like I'm gonna buy it because I'm really into like fantasy magic style books and I haven't read that many of them really so I wanted to sort of pick things up again and see where I left off. Um, so I picked this up. Um, it looks like a good read. I love the cover on this. I think it's really beautiful. Um, but yes, like I said, I've heard good things, so I'm holding out high hopes for this. From what I've read of the back, it is about a time-traveling magician who can float between parallel universes, and there are five types of London, which I kind of love the idea of. Actually, a colleague of mine has read it and said how good it was. So, Jamie, if you watch this, I'm holding you to this, and I really hope it's good. Sticking along the magic lines, I then picked up Half Bad by Sally Green, and I thought I might as well pick up the second one, Half Wild, as well. Again, I've heard great things about these. They are about magic and a fantasy world, and like I said, I haven't read enough, so I thought I'd pick these up. Again, these were recommended to me by other people, um, and I, I thought I'd give them a go. Also, Sally Green came into Birmingham, and she kindly signed them both for me, even though I wasn't there um, because I was away, but my, Jamie, again, my work colleague, got these signed for me. Um, so thank you, Jamie, for getting these done. But yeah, I like I like the look of these. I love the covers, um, and I just think I, they're supposed to be very, very good. Again, I've heard good things. So I'm hoping, hoping that they'll be good as well. Strolling away from fantasy briefly, I then picked up Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. Now this is the one book that always keeps catching my eye, and I always keep meaning to pick it up, so I finally did. Um, I read Gone Girl um, a little while back, and I really enjoyed it, apart from the end. But we don't talk about that. Um, and this one I've heard, again, another colleague of mine said that it's much, much better than Gone Girl. So I'm hoping that this is going to be really good. It's about a young girl who um, puts her brother in prison. She has to testify against her brother. It then skips to the future where her brother is released. And I think he, like, comes after her. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it looks good. Again, I've heard really, really good things. I do like a crime novel now and again. Um, so this, I'm hoping, will be very good. So, I'm holding it high hopes, and it has to have a better ending than Gone Girl, because if it doesn't, good God, I'm giving up with Gillian Flynn. If you've read Gone Girl, just, just let me know what you thought of the ending, because I have major, major qualms with the ending of Gone Girl. I'm sorry if anyone here hasn't read Gone Girl, but I have major qualms. Qualms. Good word. Qualms. Following that, this cover totally caught my eye. This is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I haven't heard much about this book, but I really like the sound of it. It is about two groups that is divided by power. There are the Silvers, who are like the kings and queens, they're the rulers, and then you have the Reds, which are the commoners. And this is the score about one of the Reds, um, who basically ends up in, in the Silvers' court, and I think it's going to be a bit hung again for the fact they're trying to overthrow, possibly? I think, I'm not sure, I've not heard much about this, but I really, really liked the cover, I thought it was just a really intriguing book. Um, it kind of annoys me because it's the size of a hardback, it's like a trade paperback, um, but I can get over that. I'll be fine. But again, it looks like a good read. So talk about late to the party and miss the bus. The next book I picked up was The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Now this is one of the cool kind of special edition ones that got released here. Um, I've never read The Maze Runner and the, admittedly I only bought this because I watched the film the other day for the first time and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really, really good film and I was like, why haven't I read the books? So um, I know the second book's not supposed to be not so great but I thought I'd give the first book a good go, at least. So I picked up this really cool hardback version, like especially, I believe it's signed as well on the inside. Um, so yeah, I just picked it up. Hopefully it'll be good. I'm assuming a lot of you have probably already read it, but I haven't, so I'm gonna give it a go. And finally is another colleague recommended book. It is The Three by Sarah Lons. Now the synopsis of this book is that four passenger planes crash at exactly the same time. And there are once there is one survivor from each plane. Three of them are children. The, the fourth is an adult who doesn't live long enough to carry on in the story, but she leaves a voice message that will change the world, apparently. And I'm guessing it's gonna follow the story of the three children. It's a it sounds a bit sci-fi. Uh, I don't really know. I've not heard much, but my colleague is just absolutely raving about it and said how good it was. So I'm hoping, again, that it's going to be an interesting read. I do like sort of the dystopian stuff. 
Um, so I'm hoping that this is going to be very good. And that is the haul! Like I said, I picked up a lot of books, and I'm probably not going to be reading some of them for a while because my TBR list is already huge. So I'm going to I'm gonna try my best, though, to get as many read as I can and then get them reviewed and stuff. So if you read any of them on this list, though, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Um, if you liked them, if you didn't, um, let me know your favourites of the ones I picked, and let me know which ones you'd be interested to read as well. And that's it for today's video. I hope you're all well. I hope you've all had lovely, lovely weekends. I didn't realise it is a Monday. It is another week. Uh, so if you're in that Monday mood, power through. It'll be great. Uh, so yes, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all lovely. And I will see you on Friday with a brand new video. I hope to see you then. Goodbye. End of the video bit. So yes, I spent way, way, way too much money on all of these books. But I, I couldn't help myself, you know, I got paid and I was like, I, I like to buy books every month. You know, it's kind of my one treat to myself. So I'm allowed to do that, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've read any of the books on my list. Let me know what you've thought. Um, I hope you're all well. Thanks to any new subscribers who have come along. Uh, my last video was my Paper Tens reaction video and that did like super well. So thank you for anyone who watched that and enjoyed it. Again, if you've seen the Paper Tens trailer, let me know what you thought. And again, if you've read the books, let me know what you thought of the book. Um, yes, uh, my new video will be up on Friday because I'm at work Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so I'm not going to have time to film until Friday, which is my next day off, so I can film and upload and edit then. So, uh, yes, so that'll be when my next video goes online. Um, I have planned it, I have written it all down. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, though, because I can't quite remember what it is. I will once I've looked, but yes, so there'll be a new video on Friday. Again, thank you all for subscribing, watching, and liking, and I'll see you on Friday. Goodbye!